What's up, guys? In this video, I've got a free pick for Prize Picks Friday, September 29th. I am super excited. It's a four man a max betting it, which is $100 for me. That's the most they'll let me get down. And uh, it's kind of crazy, guys. I, I ended up yesterday, and I talked about this in my last video. I ended up getting $50,000 cash. And it, man, most of y'all probably haven't done it. I haven't done it very many times. But when you get that much cash in your hands, it's crazy. And it's it's kind of scary. It makes your armpits sweat a little. It makes your heart beat faster. And I put it in a bag. I got on a plane. I went to Vegas. And I went to MGM. I was thinking MGM, 50 grand. This is nothing to them, right? 50 G's to win $1 million. And I don't want to give away too much of the story because I want to make a vlog. And, and please, when y'all see the vlog, please watch it. Share it with your friends. It's going to be an awesome video. It's going to be one of the best videos that I've ever put together. But look at what happened. Keep in mind, I went through all this effort of getting 50 grand from my bank. It's a hassle, man. They have to call other banks. They have to approve stuff. And, and then getting it through security at the airport. They ask you all these questions. It's insane. And then I have 50 grand in a backpack. I'm walking around Las Vegas. Obviously, not ideal, but it needed to be done so that I could lock this in. And I'm going to reveal what the bet is next week. Don't worry, but I don't want to give it too much away now. If you know what it is, don't comment it. Don't tell anybody. It's not going to be a secret. I'm going to make it public, but I, I just I want you all to watch what happened. They you. Oh, they did. They said you could only bet $1,000. $1,000? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. I flew all the way to Vegas to get it down. That's crazy. So there's more to the conversation, more to the video. You guys will see that. But those motherfuckers only let me put $1,000 down. They wouldn't take, they wouldn't even take 2000 So I go all the way there with 50 grand cash bring it to them and they won't do it and it's uh it's crazy to to see that but this is not a sponsor but i'm going to give them some free some free advertisement those motherfuckers over at DraftKings, baby shout out to them i talked to a rep and it's a really funny story but because i lost that parlay i played in philly y'all remember when i bet on uh, jordan addison it hit on thursday and then colorado well i lost 2500 whatever i was on vacation it was fun well they reached out and they probably saw wow this guy's a dumbass we need to get more money from him and they sent somebody and i ignored it because i live in texas what good is that gonna do but when i'm in vegas i call the chick at DraftKings that had texted me and i say look i got a backpack i didn't say this but i said i got 50 g's and i'm out of vegas and <laughs> they won't take my money <laughs> and she's like hey i'll check to see if we'll take it i told her the bet she's like we can take it but obviously, you got to get to Louisiana, man, the closest state to me that's legal. So end up going through all this shit, right? And uh, we locked it in on DraftKings. So I just told you all the whole story of the vlog in a nutshell, but you're still going to want to watch because it's very interesting stuff. But shout out to DraftKings, man. If you guys are doing traditional sportsbook plays, check them out and, uh, you know, use them over BetMGM. Fuck MGM. For real, man. They inconvenienced me greatly. And the thing is... The bet's probably going to lose. It's a long shot. It is fucking 20 to 1. Now, I, I hope it wins, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride this wave, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push hard for the wave. But at the end of the day, it's 20 to 1. Take my money and quit bitching about it, MGM. Fucking cowards, man. All right, let's get into tonight's picks. I'm super excited for this game. Seriously, this game I am so pumped for. And I don't want to hype it up too much because it could be a dud. Last night, Thursday Night Football... One of the worst first halves I've ever seen. Just a terrible game. Hopefully this one's a little bit more competitive. And we're looking for a shootout here, boys. We're looking for a shootout over here, okay? I am taking Jack Plummer, and I'm pairing it up with not this dude, Higgins Bruce. But I'm tempted to take Higgins Bruce. And it's between Higgins Bruce and Jamari Thrash. Now, here's how I am deciding between the two players. I'm going to FanDuel Sportsbook, and you could probably do this on DraftKings or any sportsbook. It's not legal in Texas, so I'm not here to put money down. I'm just here to use their system to figure out which receiver is more optimal. So I have the four men plugged in here, okay? I have Jamari Thrash, $100 wager, pays $532, right? Now, if I switch it to 
to uh, Huggins Bruce, $100 pays $604. So what that tells me is the 532 they think is more likely to hit. Do you all understand that? If it pays 532 and this one pays um, 604, they're telling me that they think the combination of players that pays less is more likely to hit. That's why they're willing to pay us a little bit more for this. Now, they're both still great picks, but at the end of the day, that tells us that we are more likely to hit this one than the other one. So just at a you know naked eye, just a glance, glancing over it without doing any research, I actually preferred the other one. But after looking at this, I know that DraftKings line makers and their system is super dialed in, so I'm going to trust it. It's like a calculator. It's like trusting a calculator. If I think 17 times 86 is this, and, I'm, and I, I'm pretty confident in that, but I type it into the calculator and it says something different, I am going to blindly trust the fucking calculator. This is the calculator right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the quarterbacks with Thrash and Concepcion. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but that's how I do it in my head when I've been reading his name the last few weeks. Um, and we're going to get to watch some action tonight, boys. So when I get these four, here's where it's crazy right here. The same exact play. The same exact play. And the yardage might be off, give or take a yard. Not a huge deal. Obviously, we fight for every yard. But if I can get $1,000 on, on um, prize picks, and it only pays 500 on DraftKings, that is why we use prize picks. That is why we use prize picks. Use promo code SBE if you don't have a prize picks account, but it's great value. And over the course of the season, this is why I'm up probably 30, 40 grand right now across all the apps, all the different accounts. I'm up about 40 grand. Now, this account, we are up about nine grand. We started with 3,000, so y'all can do the math. Um, but what I want to show y'all is if I try to throw down on this one, if I try to throw down 500. It's going to hit me with the limit, $100. So I prefer to do more money, but I can only do 100 So I'm thankful for prize picks allowing me to get down 100 You know, They're letting me get down more money than MGM let me get down. I flew out to Vegas, and I couldn't even get down over 1000 bucks. So shout out to prize picks, man. It's a great app. They do, I mean, obviously they limit you. They're not going to let me take millions of dollars from them like you see all these gurus on the internet pretend to do. You've got all these guys pretending to win hundreds of thousands of dollars every week. They would limit them if they were winning. I'm a winning player. I'm limited. And it's fair play. I get where they're coming from. MGM, on the other hand, is a 20 to 1 play. They're worth billions of dollars. I flew out to Vegas. The fact that they didn't let me put money down, that is fucked up. That is fucked up. It's like, come on, man. I'm a fucking sports betting YouTuber, and I'm doing this for the content and for fun. I, I ran up like 40 grand on a, a couple of apps, and I, and I don't even, y'all know which apps if you follow me and you follow the VIP, and I wanted to put a little bit down on a big million dollar play, and I was, I was geared up, I was talking about my mom, I was saying how, you know, life is short, we're all going to die, and I want to hit this play, and boom. They take it from me. But look, I ended up getting a lot of money down on DraftKings, and I'm excited. I'm still excited for the bet, and I'm thankful for DraftKings, but I had to share that clip, and it's a, it's a bit frustrating for me, but I, I'm venting to y'all, and I, I hope that y'all will have my back in the comment sections, and that's all I've got for you. Ride this play. It's the free pick. I'm going to post it in the chalkboard group, and if you want to see my futures bet early, Join the chalkboard group. It's the link in the description of this video. I'll be posting it there, and then I'll be rolling out a vlog probably this weekend or next week on what uh, the futures play is. So thank you guys for watching the video. Good luck with all of your picks, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.